Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about how to draw a regular octagon using the protractor and the ruler. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now if we talk about regular octagon class, it has 8 equal sides and 8 interior angles must be congruent. So we have given side that is 3 cm, but we don't have the measure of each interior angle. So we can find the measure of each interior angle by using the sum of interior angles formula. So that would be quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Once again, because there are some cases that the teacher will provide the measure of each interior angle, that would be a good thing for you because you can just simply draw the regular octagon. But if it's not given class, you need to find the measure of each interior angle. So let's find first the measure of each interior angle. Alright, so if we have an octagon, not a regular octagon class, just a simple octagon. So let me just draw this one. If we have an octagon, alright, so this is an octagon. Now we can find plus the sum of these interior angles by using this formula. Okay, by using this formula, we can find the sum of these interior angles. So the formula, that would be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. The sum of the interior angles, that would be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So n represents for the sides, so we have 8 sides, so 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So 8 minus 2, that is 6, times 180 degrees. So let's use the calculator. So 6 times 180, so that would be 1080 degrees. 1080 degrees. Now, since this is a regular octagon that we need to draw, we need to divide this one by 8 because we have 8 interior angles so that our interior angles class must be congruent. So, 1080 divided by 8. So, let's divide this one. 1080 divided by 8. So, divide by 8. And each angle class, there would be 135 degrees. Once again, each interior angles, there would be 135 degrees. So, each interior angles, that would be 135 degrees. Now, once you have your interior angle and the side, go ahead, class. We can now draw the regular octagon. So, let's draw the regular octagon. Let's start with 3 centimeters horizontal line. So, horizontal line, that is 3 centimeters. So, these are centimeters on the top. So, 3 centimeters for the horizontal line. Alright, so this will be, we have line segment that is 3 centimeters. So you can sketch this one class with a ball pen. So this is the end point and the end point. Once again, our angle is 135 degrees. So if this is the end point, this will be the angle class. That's 135 degrees. So we can use the, your protractor. So simply use the protractor class. From this last point, okay, this point, second point, last point, this will be the center part of our protractor. So once again, you align this last point on the center part of your protractor. And the zero class, this particular zero, you align this one in this horizontal line. Once again, this zero, this degrees, you align this one in this horizontal line. And this particular point, this will be the center part of your protractor. So center part, then you align 0 in this horizontal line. And for the angle, we have 10 degrees, 20, 30. So we have 90, then 135. So this is 130. This will be 135. This one class on, in the middle of, in between 130 and 140 degrees. So this is 135. And this will be our guide class for the angle. Alright, and our second side, that is 3 centimeters. Right, so 3 centimeters for the second side. Alright, so this will be the last point. So you can sketch this one with a ball pen. So we have 3 centimeters. Once again, test, we have given side that is 3 centimeters. Alright, so from this last point, second side, once again, you align 0 in this particular second side. And our angle class, this will be the form of our angle. That's that's 135 degrees. So once again, from this last point, 
you put this one in the middle part of your protractor okay once again this will be you align this one in the middle part of your protractor and the zero class you align this one in this second side so zero and then this will be the middle part of your protractor so we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 90, and then 135. Okay, once again, I hope you see this one class. Once again, you align 0 in the second side, and this will be the middle part of your protractor. Alright, so we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 90, and then 135. This is 135. Alright, so align 0, middle part of your protractor, and this will be 135. Alright, and this will be our guide. So, that would be 3 centimeters. Alright, so let's have 6 to 3. That would be 3 centimeters, right? 6 to 3. Alright, 6 to 3. So, that is 3 centimeters. So, let's check. Yep, that is 3 centimeters. And then, you sketch this one with a ball pen. This will be our last point. Alright, so from this from this last point class, center part of your protractor, and then once again, you align zero in this particular side. So center part of your protractor, and then you align zero in this particular side, the third side. So 135 degrees, so we have this one. Alright, so this is 135 degrees. Always remember this one class, the last point, you align that one on the center part of your protractor. And then zero class, always align that one on the last side. Okay, you align you align zero in this third side. Alright, so we have zero, then 135 degrees. Alright, so 135 degrees. And then... You measure this one in your ruler. So let's have 6 to 3 again. So 6 to 3. Alright, 6 to 3. So this is 3 centimeters. So let's check. Yep, that would be 3 centimeters. The sketch with a ball pen. Go ahead. Alright, and then next line. Once again, this will be the last part, so you align this one into zero, and this will be the center part of our protractor, this one, and then align it with zero, this last side, so this is zero, then 10, 20, 30, so we have 135, so 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30, 40, and then 130, 135. So, this one right here, 135. Alright, and then, use your ruler, ruler, that would be 3 centimeters. Alright, so let's have 7 to 4, that's 3 centimeters. So, let's check, yep, 3 centimeters. Use your ball pen to sketch this one. Alright, so we're done with uh, how many sides now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5th side. So let's have the 6th side. Once again, this will be our last side. So you align 0 in this particular side. And then this last point that will be the center part of your protractor. So we have 0, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 90 degrees, and then 135. This one right here, class. So 130, then in the middle of 140 and 130, that's 135. This one right here. Alright, and then use your ruler. So that would be 3 centimeters for the sides. So we have 3 centimeters. Okay, sketch this one with a ball pen. And this will be the last point. Alright, and then, once again, this last side, you align 0 in this particular side. So, this will be the center. Then, this is 0. Alright, so we have 10, 20 degrees, 30, 60, 90, and then 135. This one plus. Alright, so 135. 
this will be our guide for the angle. Once again, class, this is the guide for the angle. So we have 3 centimeters. Alright, so this is 6. So let's have 1, 2, 3. Alright, so you can mark this one or sketch this one with a ball pen. And this will be our last point. Of course, this last side class, if you connect these points, this will be 3 centimeters. So let's check class if this is 3 centimeters. Yep, that would be 3 centimeters. So this is 3, sorry, this is 3 centimeters. That's it class. All set. That's how you draw a regular octagon. So I hope you learned something new today class on how to draw a regular octagon. So if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again class, do not forget to label because there are some teachers, they will advise you to label your side and then into your angle. So this will be 3 centimeter. So this is 3 centimeter. This is 3 centimeter, 3 centimeter, so all sides must be equal. Alright, 3 centimeter, 3 centimeter. And for the angles, so this will be 135 degrees, 135. Alright, so do not forget to label. Alright, so this is 135 degrees, 135 degrees, 135 degrees. 135 degrees, 135 degrees, 135 degrees, and 135 degrees. All set class. That's how you draw a regular octagon using the protractor and the ruler. So the next part of our video is how to draw a regular decagon. And I will just put the link on the description down below. So once again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.